What's going on, Iku? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so I'm just doing uh, Airbnb errands around my uh, Super 73, 72 volt Red RX here. What I really wanted to talk about is that splash cross or splash cross electric e-bike that's on Indiegogo for like I think today is the last day. I have under 24 hours to decide whether I want to order it or not. Um, Splack company is pretty reliable. They've been doing Indiegogo for years now, and they've actually um, you know produced uh, pretty good scooters or even um, even their full suspension uh, mountain bike. The only reason why I never went for it is because it was a hub motor for a mountain bike. Um, but I really like the look of this black cross. So I'm really on the fence thinking about it. I'm really justifying uh, pre-ordering it on Indiegogo. Um, I haven't had good experiences with Indiegogo before because uh, Monday Motor Bomb, anyhow, I really like the body frame of this black cross. Um, it has other features such as like speakers for sounding like a motorcycle, which I don't really care about. It only has mechanical brakes so far. Um, but I really like the body again. Um, it's a really good frame to store uh, a modified upgraded battery, 72 volt battery, for example. And I just like the, the style of the frame. Um, it looks very capable. It looks like a Suron or a Stealth Bomber almost with a swing arm. And um, I was on the verge of ordering another Stealth Bomber frame until I saw the Splack Cross. So now I'm on the fence. Um, I really want to convert it. I just need to know like the dropout size, which I'm almost certain uh, the rear axle dropout size is 175 mil because that Bafang motor is on um, Amazon with the magnesium wheels and everything like that. I'm almost certain that it's uh, 175 mil. And I really need it to be 175 mil because I have spare motors that can um, go 3K to 4K watts that I plan on putting it on it. Um, but yeah, I really, I'm really digging the, uh, the frame, most importantly, and I'm, I'm really trying to justify it. First of all, we need less bikes, um, and this one is going to be released in about three months, just in time for my birthday in July. I have no reason to believe that Splat Cross won't deliver. Um, they've done it again before, they're a reputable seller company, and um, they've been focusing on electric vehicles for quite some time now. Uh, but comment below what you guys think about it. I'm only 5'6", five, 5'7", five, foot tall, and to me, the, the reservations I have is it's because it, it might be a little too tall for me. They listed at 31 um, inches seat height, but you can tell that it's not, and there are some parts of it, the angle is definitely higher. So it's 31 to 33 seat height, I think. But again, I, I, I really want that back frame too. That's how I'll put in the controller and also a, a new battery on it. Comment below what you guys think about that bike. I've been hooked at going faster speeds, you know, like um, ever since I've modified this bike to a 72 volts uh, for a fairly uh, decent price. I, I want to buy this battery again and I want to just pop in the same controller and spend another 1.3K, give or take, to make that bike uh, 72 volts. So let's see, right now it's only uh, 1650 on Indiegogo right now. And uh, plus tax and shipping. So it's, it's gonna be around under 2K. So under 2K plus 1.3K. So that bike is about 3.3K to convert it to 72 volts based on my um, 
computations with my own controller, my own motor that I already have. I'm not looking to put a pop in a, a 5K or 8K watt motor on that. I'm really happy with just this uh, 3K, 4K motor that we already have. Specifically, the aerial rider motor is what I'm actually trying to um, going to put on it because I have spare aerial rider motors. What do you guys think about that frame? It, it's unique. It's what I like. It's not for everyone. Um, but it, it's kind of rare to find a good frame, dual suspensions, uh, with good frame to fit a battery size on it. And on top of that, they already sell the bag accessories. Um, so that's going to be a big bonus to, uh, to hide up all the wires, um, to put in the frame like, you know, in this specific area. I think it's a bigger space than the Super 73 RX. And the fact that it has really um, beefy rear suspensions and front, actually, those are hard to come by. Um, it's going to be a bigger bike, though. It's going to, I think it resembles the, um, the Rumble Air motor frame. So that's something um, I'm also hesitant about because I didn't really like long bikes. And it's, it's going to be a taller bike, too, because with the tall front suspensions, it's going to be a taller bike than, than the Super 73 RX. Um, so transporting that bike is probably what's also um, why I'm hesitant. It's going to really resemble the stealth bomber that we have and the Super 73 RX that we have here. It looks like it's going to be like a mix of that, you know? I'm really on the fence. Um, you know, one day I want to order it, and then another day I don't want to order it because we have enough 72 volts um, electric motorbikes, if anything. So basically, my reservations are, it's a tall and lengthy bike, so it's harder to transport in the SUV. I need less bikes. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna place that bike. I do like that it has signals. The other features, such as the uh, NFC AirTag, um, I don't really care about that, you know? And the fact that it's only 28 miles per hour, um, as is, um, I don't really care about that either. Um, but I'm looking for it as a project e-bike. And again, the frame is it's amazing, in my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that bike. But by the time the video comes out, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be, I've, either, I've already made a decision. Let me know what you guys think. Is that, is that a bike that you guys would order? I mean, I, I love that it's cheap, you know, I, deals I, I jump on, so that's why I'm really on the fence about it. All right, folks, that's gonna be on today's quick vlog. Thank you for tuning in. This is E-Bike Adventures, signing out. See you guys in the next ride. Peace.